Hi guys, it's Esmond from Skills Build Training, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, and TLS work. Thank you for choosing to watch this video. To help us help more people like you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell to get notified for our future videos. Let's get started. If you ever wondered how data gets transferred securely over the internet, then you need to watch this video. I'll explain how HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, and TLS work individually, and how they work together to ensure your communication on the internet is secure. How does HTTP work? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. This protocol forms the basis of communication over the World Wide Web. It's primarily used to send and receive data over the internet. HTTP is a request response protocol that allows you to fetch internet resources via hypertext messages from a server. HTTP clients usually use TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, connections to communicate with servers. Let's explain this using an example. Suppose you type the URL HTTP colon double forward slash Twitter dot com into your browser and hit enter. After DNS resolves the web address, the following five steps will take place in order. 1. A TCP connection is established. 2. Your browser will send a request message to the HTTP server. This message contains a request line, a request header, and a request body. The request line usually contains the method type that defines the type of request. In this scenario, a GET method will be used in the request line. A GET method requests the web resource. Other commonly used methods are POST, PUT, and DELETE. In addition to the method, the request line also contains URI and HTTP version. Here's an example of a GET method. Another important part of the request message is the header. The header contains rules such as language, type of file, text, HTML or image, and host address. 3. The HTTP servers will map the URL to a file under the HTTP server's document directory. 4. The server will then send a response message. A response message in HTTP usually contains a status code header and the actual file that was requested in the request message. The status code indicates whether the request succeeded or failed. For example, a 200 success code means that the request succeeded. 5. Your browser will now process the HTML it has received and repeat the same process for other resources that it needs, such as CSS files, images, JavaScript files, and others. How does HTTPS work? HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. HTTPS works similar to HTTP. The biggest difference between the two protocols is, with HTTP, the data being transferred is not encrypted, and therefore, the data transfer process is not secure. With HTTPS, a layer of security is being added using TLS, Transport Layer Security, or SSL, Secure Socket Layer. In simple terms, HTTP running over TLS or SSL becomes HTTPS. We'll get into the details of TLS and SSL shortly, but before that, let's dive a bit deeper to understand what makes HTTPS special and different from HTTP. What makes HTTPS secure and better than HTTP is the fact that HTTPS has a mechanism that ensures that the client or browser is talking to the correct server and the server is talking to the correct client. For example, if you were to give a very secret message to someone over the phone, you'd want to be sure that the person on the other end of the phone is actually the person you'd want to hear the message and not an untrusted third party. HTTPS ensures that the end-to-end -end communication is secure by using digital certificates. 
Digital certificates are digital documents that prove the identity of its owner. A certificate is just like an ID. Similar to the way your bank asks you for your ID before giving you access to your account, the HTTPS protocol authenticates and validates a digital certificate before sending or receiving data over the internet. In this context, the digital certificate is used to authenticate the ownership of a public key. What is a public key, you might be asking? Okay, before we continue, let's understand the concept of public and private keys. With HTTPS, when user A wants to send a private message to user B, they encrypt or lock this message using the public key of user B. When the message reaches user B, user B will check the message's public key and use its corresponding private key to unlock the message. Two important things to note here. One, private keys are never shared over the internet in HTTPS. And two, every public key has its own private key. This public slash private key mechanism ensures that hackers or untrusted third parties are not able to unlock data being sent or received over the internet. Let's look at an example of how HTTPS works step by step. 1. Let's say you want to open YouTube.com. You type the URL and hit enter. 2. The YouTube server sends your browser its certificate with a public key. 3. Your browser verifies the public key it received. 4. Your browser tells the YouTube server it has verified the public key it received and has now created a new secret key, otherwise known as a session key, and encrypted it with the YouTube server's public key. Five, the YouTube server decrypts this new session key using its private key. Now, the server and the client are the only two machines on the internet who are aware of this new session key. All the communication from now on between the two machines will be encrypted using this new key. How does SSL work? SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. SSL is a protocol that is used to secure data communications between a client or a browser and a server over the web. Netscape developed SSL protocols. The latest version of SSL, SSL 3.0, was declared obsolete in 2015 after experts found several vulnerabilities with it. Since then, TLS is the most commonly used protocol to ensure security and encryption of data transfer sessions. How does SSL work? All the data transfer and encryption steps you saw in the How Does HTTPS Work section was actually SSL in action. SSL develops a secure connection by verifying the authenticity of both the client and server. This is done by using an SSL handshake. In an SSL handshake, the server and client perform the following steps. 1. Authenticate each other's identity by using digital certificates and public keys. 2. Specify the SSL version they will use. 3. Specify the type of encryption algorithm to use. And 4. Generate session keys. After the SSL handshake, the client and server start the data transfer process. Another important thing, SSL ensures data integrity. It ensures that data remains the same throughout its travels over the internet and that nobody changes, alters or tampers with it. It does this using message authentication code, otherwise known as MAC. The sender signs data packets with a MAC and the recipient verifies the MAC to ensure the integrity of the data. How does TLS work? TLS stands for Transport Layer Security. It essentially is a newer version of SSL. After SSL was retired in 2015, TLS became the standard encryption and data security protocol used to ensure secure data transfer between clients and servers over the internet. TLS works almost exactly like SSL. TLS has three main jobs. One, encryption of data. Two, authentication. It ensures that the parties exchanging information are actually who they claim to be. And three, data integrity. 
It makes sure that data doesn't get altered or forged during transmission using MAC, Message Authentication Code. Just like SSL, TLS also uses a handshake mechanism to create a secure connection before the actual data transfer process. And there you have it. That's how HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, and TLS work together to ensure our communication over the internet is secure and reliable. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of our future videos. Take care.